Mm -hmm. I'm live, I'm live. Hello, hello. Oh, my hair is frizzy again, like always. Uh, I am here today to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, hey, Dusty. I was hoping you would know I was going live and I wasn't ignoring you if you started messaging me back on Facebook. I was like, oh no, I'm off Facebook now. I just closed down Facebook. Um, have you read this yet? I know you've been starting to read comics again, so I don't know if you've read this yet. <laughs> you have notifications on me now. Yay. Well, I'm glad you do. You read it? Okay. So I just picked it up. I haven't read it yet. Is it super good? I bet it's super good. I, I haven't read it. So shh, don't say anything. Um, I kind of like browsed it. I like to like browse through the pictures um, just to see, but I mean like look how colorful they are. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm excited. So I haven't read it yet, but is it good? Is it worth it? And number one, I kind of love that Marvel is starting like all these new number ones. Um, like I put Sentry on my list, which I'm really, really, really super excited about. I love Sentry. Um, I'm really hoping for a Dark Avengers storyline at some point in the MCU. So because of that, I really, really hope... Um, you know, Sentry does well in the comics, and then maybe people will really like him, and then we'll see Sentry in the MCU, and he'll be part of the Dark Avengers, and everyone will be happy, and it will be amazing, because that will make me happy. Read the first couple of pages, but got busy. It's more modern. Good. I'm glad it is. Um, I'm excited. I started reading it, too. I read, like, the first two pages, and then something happened, and I have a, I have a stack of comics I'm still going to read. Like, I've got to read this one, too. Um, Infinity Countdown at um, number four. I've read the first three, but um, you know, it looks like this is like rocket centric. So I'm excited because obviously I love rocket as Amanda knows. I love rocket. Um, yes, it's so prop, right? Amanda. So prop. Cause in, I don't even know how many days guys, you guys tell me, um, about two weeks ish, <laughs> uh, less than that. What is it? A week and a half, about a week and a half. I don't, I don't know how many days, but I'm going to be seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp ah, and interviewing cast. And I don't know what cast yet. Um, I probably won't wear this red shirt again for live. I feel like it like blends in too much with my, with my chair. What do you guys think? Does it blend in too much with my chair? I kind of don't like it. I almost want to go change, but I'm not going to. It's bothering me a little bit. Uh, so let's go back to reading. The light is gathering together hearts from one oath, one purpose. Okay, and then, hi, Amanda. Oh, Dusty's saying hi to Amanda. And Josh well, is saying hi to Amanda. Still haven't found that one. Still haven't found what? In Infinity Countdown? Can you create a poll at your local shop? Because, see, I just tell my local comic shop what I want, and they pull it out for me every week, which is super nice and super handy. Is it 10 days? That's so awesome. It's Saturday. Not this Saturday. Next Saturday. Um, I'm totally ditching my daughter on her seventh birthday to go, and it makes me feel really bad. But I missed out on Disneyland and Incredibles 2 event for my daughter's um, zoo field trip, for this field trip and graduation. So they owe me letting me go. <laughs> That's mean to say, whatever. Much hype for Kingdom Hearts 3. For real, I'm super excited for Kingdom Hearts. You need to unpack so you can pack four. You haven't unpacked yet, Amanda, from the cruise? It's okay. It's not like I'm part of the chair. It doesn't look like I'm part of the chair. Okay. Cause I feel like it makes me look wider and I don't like that. I don't want to look wider. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Maybe it's the angle of this. Is that better? Look, there's my futon. That's where my mom sleeps when she comes to visit me. Look, Oh, see that? See all the little, my little toys over there. Um, Anyway, that's where my mom sleeps when she comes to visit and she's coming for the whole month of July. So I'm not sure where I'm going to do my videos. I might not be doing them in my office guys, just FYI. So I might have more boring background because uh, it depends if she leaves the futon a mess. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make her put it up every day. She comes for a month and I'm going to be like, mom, you got to put it away every single day so I can do my videos. <laughs> this is funny. I, I make myself laugh. Nobody else thought that was funny. I found it funny. Hi, heavy duty smokes. What's up? You can't believe. Felt, yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, fell to the darkness. Sure. Probably. She did say Mickey, you're too late, but we will see. We will see. 
We will see. I try not to speculate, right? Because I've seen things in trailers and then they change them before. More for movies, not so much for games, but you never, ever know for sure. You never, ever know for sure. They cut things weird and to make you want to see things, right? It's just like clickbait. So don't, I'm not 100% committing to the idea that that happened. I've been trying to do an office makeover so I can have all my geek stuff in one lookout. Yeah, so I have a bunch of stuff in my room, pretty much. Um, like I sleep with my little stuffed Thanos <laughs> and I sleep with my little stuffed Hawkeye um, all the time. And I have a stack of comic books down there because sometimes I sit on the couch in my bedroom and read, um, if it's a nice day, cause it's right by a really nice window. It's just nice and relaxing. Uh, and I have a couple of like, um, geek little like, um, figures, right? Like this, like little collectibles or whatever, like on my, on my end table. Um, I've got a lot of stuff on my desk here that I just play with like during the day if I'm bored or I'm trying to like work on a post and I'm like, hmm, I'll just sit and I'll, I'll do this if I'm like thinking, right? And I play with my little fidget cube, my little group fidget cube. I also have a Drax one. Of course, I have a Drax one. Um, I had another one. I think my daughter stole it. No, here it is. It's Rocket. But so I have awesome stuff all over my desk, right? I've even got these little guys. Um, and then I've got stuff behind me. And then in the other room that's right here, like if there was no wall right in front of me, it would be, um, it's our living room. Uh, I'm up on the third floor here in my office, but um, in the living room, I have a lot of autographed pictures and pictures from cons um, framed. It was just on my Instagram stories the other day. So if you didn't see that, you missed it because it disappears after 24 hours. But I have Mr. Incredible and Jack Jack. I got them at Toys R Us for like a dollar because they're because Toys R Us is going out of sale and they there were the little blind things. And it's funny because I got four. I got two for myself and I got one for each of my daughters. And guess what? There were three Jack Jacks, but the two I picked was a Jack Jack and a Mr. Incredible. So it was kind of perfect because I feel like the odds were there that I would have gotten two Jack Jacks. Right. But I didn't. I didn't get two Jack Jacks. It was exciting. Got a Jack Jack and a Mr. Incredible. It's like, what are the odds? OK. Sorry. And let's read back up. Uh, 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 looks like Dr. Strange is tesseracting into your room. Ha! I love Dr. Strange. He's so cool, isn't he? I love him. He's my favorite. I will never take him down. Oh, look. Did you guys notice? That used to be something else. And now it's different. Let's see who can, who can mention it. Who knows? I wonder if any of you paid attention ever to my background or just to me. You loved my reaction to the Halloween trailer. Thank you. I was legit terrified. Like I made my daughter go to the bathroom with me when I had to go pee like several times during the day, during the rest of the day, because I was very scared and I was afraid Mike was hanging out in my bathroom. <laughs> Even though I know realistically, there's no way uh, that he <laughs> was hiding in my bathroom. But I felt like he probably was. Ah, I was so scared. Like, that's genuine. Like, ugh. I always make sure if I accidentally watch a trailer and someone asks me to do a reaction to it, I won't do a reaction to it. Because I want to make sure my reactions are, like, legit. This is my initial reaction, right? I know some people don't do that. But I do. <sighs> you just bought a new chair. It was $399. $399. I don't know how much this chair was because my husband got it for me um, for my birthday. I think it was. Yeah. I came home from the Incredibles Pixar trip to it. Um, he got it a little early for me for my birthday. And then I got this uh, chair cape at the uh, Incredibles event. You guys can kind of see it. Oh, it's stuck here. See? It's pretty cool. I love it. I'm going to start collecting comics again. All about DC for me. Uh, wah, wah. That's how I feel about DC. Um, I don't mind DC. I, uh, I like Gotham City Sirens. I don't know. If, I don't think they're still doing anything. Um, I love Catwoman. It's about the extent of, of DC for me. I was like, I took you to see Incredibles 14 years ago. And I was like, really 14? Yeah. Aren't you 13? How did your mom take you to see Incredibles 14 years ago? Or did you just turn 14 and were you a little tiny baby? <laughs> Um, I put the little wooden block Avengers we got on Infinity War on my shelf. Oh, awesome. Guess what? I had to give those to my girls. They took them. They're stacked up next to Ivy's bed. Um, and I'm really sad because I like them. But I have these Lego guys, which are kind of cool. I think they're called like brickheads. I don't know. They're cool. I've got Hulk and I've got, oh, he's a little dusty. 
I've got Captain America. And I've got Black Widow, who's awesome. And I built these all myself, which was super fun. Um, and uh, I have the Beast, which is Disney. So it's close to Marvel. Similar. I have a lot of stuff on my desk. A lot of stuff. A lot of friends. A lot of desk buddies, as I call them. <laughs> Don't mention that trailer. Oh, the Halloween trailer? Yeah, Amanda does not like scary movies. So if you want to laugh, um, you should watch her reactions to scary movies like Halloween. Um, but also she just did one called The Nun, which I watched her reaction video. So I won't do a reaction video on it. But um, it was pretty awesome. She said some racy things, but Amanda tends to always say racy things. So if you don't like racy things, maybe don't watch Amanda's videos, but you should watch Amanda's videos. You should subscribe to her channel because she is trying to get that ad money, guys. She's trying to get up there to where she can get, you know, a whopping $9 on an $18,000 view video, which is 100% accurate figures, by the way. Um, but she needs more subscribers. So subscribe, subscribe. She needs a thousand and she's got like 400 and something. Uh, where was I? Oh, she meant you were unborn. Ha <laughs> ha That makes sense. I gotcha. Used to be assigned something baseball. It was signed Patriots. Okay. It was from when I worked at Gillette stadium, a bunch of the Patriots signed it. It was a big football thing. It was from when they won the, their second Super Bowl. Um, now it is something that an amazing fan gifted me. Nish Lesh, I believe is his name. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Um, drew this. It's the Avengers um, Infinity War. And it's awesome. It's really hard to see because it's far back. But like these are all the Avengers on. I, it's hard, so hard to do. On this side, all Avengers. And then that's Thanos in the Black Order right there. Um, and it's amazing. It's incredible. It's fantastic. It's like well, absolutely one of my favorites. And actually, if you go look at the Russo Brothers Facebook page, it was the header. I don't know if it still is, um, but you could probably go back and look. And uh, he gifted this to me. He sent it to me, which is amazing. I'm so excited and I love it so much. So I finally found a frame for it. He sent it to me for my birthday, which was so sweet. Um, yeah, so it's awesome. I had to put it up. I was so excited about it. I think maybe these lights, if I do something with my light. Like a Captain America. Ooh, he's over there. Like a Captain America I built, or well, my husband built. And then that's um, the autographed Yandu thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway. I already forget what I was talking about. The video we did with, oh, with our little guys. Yes, those little guys, I know. First of all, I thought you were thinking of the stack ones, you know, the totem pole ones. Um, so the little wooden play guys are in Lori's room. She stole them. But that was so fun. That video, guys, check out Amanda's channel. We we created Infinity War before we saw Infinity War, how we thought it was going to go down with these little figures. It was hilarious. It was so funny. Um, we're going to do more videos at the Ant-Man event. So stay tuned, guys. I hope we make you laugh because. Oh, the chair was a PewDiePie joke. I don't know. I Amanda subscribed to that channel. Oh, so she might have got it. I don't. I don't think I subscribed to that channel. Sorry. Um, all right. Let's see. My dad asked me today if I do multiple takes for my reaction videos. I was like, what? Don't you know it'll be a genuine reaction video? If I watched it already, get with it. Yeah. Hello. You can't just watch a trailer or whatever you're reacting to like a whole bunch of times and then record or do separate takes. The first time I ever really cut one was today, I think, um, for Dumbo. This might have been like the second time. But my daughter woke up and like came in the room and was like talking. Luckily, it was after the trailer. So it was just when I was like blabbing about stuff. And then and then she popped her head in again. So you'll notice there's like two cuts at the end of Dumbo. And that's because my daughter came up and was like, is it morning time? And she's wearing like her PJs and she's like scratching her butt. And I was like, OK, I'm cutting her out of this video. So <laughs> I did that. Maybe I should have left her in. Maybe that would have been funnier. But whatever. I cut her out. So <laughs> I was like, uh, OK. I really don't need my adorable little daughter, as adorable as she is, just like walking in here all groggy. I just right up to me. So I cut it where it made sense. Um, 
And anyways, I kind of like repeated myself after um, she left, like I was talking about the cast. And so then after she left, I talked about the cast again, kind of repeated myself. So I had everything I needed in there, but it was just funny. I thought it was funny. Uh, 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 we will always have a video. Yeah, I heard of that. I can't control my mouth. Yeah, Amanda cannot control her mouth. That's true. But that's what makes her so fun, right? That's why she's like one of my best friends is because she can't control her mouth. And I love that about her. Watch Stranger Things is so good. Stranger Things is so good. I love Stranger Things. I can't wait for the next Stranger Things. And I can't believe I have to wait. I think it's like till 2019. I'm really sad about it. Oh, thanks. Subscribe so I can get that YouTube money. Yep. Subscribe to Amanda. Subscribe to her. But subscribe to me too. Uh, I'm getting close to 7,000 subscribers, I think. I want to be at 10 by the end of the summer, which is like two months. So that's my goal. <laughs> from Marvel, I only like Spider-Man. Okay, I like Spider-Man. Hulk, okay. Hulk's eh, eh. I like Hulk in the movies. Hulk in the comics is eh. X-Men, yes. Ghost Rider, eh. Deadpool, yes. So you don't like the Guardians? What's wrong with you? And Cable, Cable is so good right now. Let me find this Cable one. I have stuff sitting right here. Like Cable? Cable is like mind-blowing. Cable is so good. And come on, brand new Avengers. It just started. So just pick up one and two and try it. It just started. Here's the thing with Marvel. They've just started over so many of their series that like it's a perfect time to join in. Okay. So we've got Avengers one and two. Um, I think, I think Black Panther recently started a number one or like they started a new story. Um, oh, Captain Marvel so good. Um, there's what else? There was another, there's a few other number ones. Sentries number one. Um, I believe young of it, young Avengers, no new Avengers. Number one. I don't know. There's lots of number ones in this past month and this upcoming month, Ant-Man and the Wasp, a number one, this is the perfect time to jump in and see if you like it. Right. We read one or two issues. Um, you know, you're starting over. Okay. That's the best part about number ones. I love it. Like I did like when DC did that new 52, I got the big, huge book, the big, huge hardcover book. I think it's in the attic. Still wrapped, never opened it, but now it's worth more money probably, right? I don't know. I got the Catwoman or like the two or three, whatever they were that I was interested in separate and read those and it's still sitting in there. It's in the attic. That's pretty bad. Whatever. <laughs> You're still watching Lost in Space. I haven't watched Lost in Space yet, but I've heard it's very, very, very good. I'm also finishing up The Expanse, which I'm like really super into. I love The Expanse. I'm only on episode like six now, I think. Um, but I really like it. All about Batman. Eh, see, Batman is eh. Okay. What I like about Batman is is Catwoman and Harley and Joker and um, Poison Ivy. So. Hmm. Spider-Man Daredevil could be Batman. I don't know. I don't know. That toy reenactment of Infinity War was so cute. Wasn't it so funny? We were like, wah. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Black Panther was basically Spider-Man. Our friend Amy was like, why are you making Black Panther Spider-Man? Uh, I noticed you cut the Dumbo one. I figured you wanted to show it. No, it was because Lori came in scratching her butt asking me if it was morning time at like 6 a.m. Because she's crazy. It was actually a little earlier than 6 a.m. She's a nutball, that girl. At least it wasn't during the trailer. Exactly. Because that would have like totally screwed me up. I would have had to keep going. It would have been a mess because I would refuse to start it over. Oh, boy, it just would have been a mess. So I'm very glad it wasn't during the trailer. That is a good point, Amanda. I think she heard me up here because I'm like not I don't usually talk to myself, right? Like up here in the morning. So I think my office is right above her room. So I think when I started the trailer and like or the video and started talking, she heard me. So she came up the stairs and came in. That's my guess is what happened. She might've already been awake, but once she heard me talking, she was like, hmm, I'm going to go ask mom if it's morning time and if I can watch TV. And I was like, no, you can't watch TV before school. You're never allowed to watch TV before school. Go back to bed. It's too early. It's basically what I said. <sighs> what you unsubscribe to subscribe again. I don't understand that logic. What? I missed something. Someone unsubscribes. Sometimes when a man makes a really good video, I unsubscribe so I can subscribe. <laughs> That's funny. You do it to me too. Also, it makes you feel good. You're like, oh, I'm a new subscriber. Because actually, if you look at like the analytics, Amanda, somewhere, it'll tell you like how many subscribes you get from a video. So then I guess he's helping us rank our videos. Like we got more subscribers from it, even though we technically already had a subscriber. 
I have not seen the Netflix Lost in Space, but I want to. Yes, it is on my list. I really, 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 really want to. Um, hopefully, hopefully soon I've got the expanse I'm finishing up. I still need to go back and watch Gotham like an entire two and a half seasons, I think. I don't know. The last thing I saw was the bus crashing, right? That's like the last thing I saw, which if I don't want to give too much away, but I guess it was like a super long time ago. So um, where like Joker got off, right? Well, not Joker, but the kid. I think it was him. And Penguin is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I just don't remember. I saw Mr. Freeze, like a little bit of him, but I think he came back. I heard, I don't even know. Fantastic Four, number one. That was the other one. Yes, that comes out in August, which I'm super excited about. That's on my pull list. So I'll be getting that. Um, I pretty much get all the number ones and then, you know, go for two, three, four issues to see if I like it. Um, if I don't, I'll cancel. But I usually do, which is part of my problem, right? If it's Marvel, I like it. I I don't know. It's hard to not. Uh, I'll try it out. Hey, Avengers is better than Superman. Oh, yes. I did not like Superman. Stand for socks. <laughs> the thing I don't like about Superman, and I think I've said this a bunch of times, and it's something I'm also iffy on Doctor Strange about, although after Infinity War, I love Doctor Strange, is um, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that like he has no real weakness. Like He has a little weakness. I'm going to move this down a little so I can sit back. Um, he has like no real weaknesses, right? I don't know. That bothers me. I don't know. Something about it, like people that are too strong and that are too, I don't know. I just find it dumb. It's stupid. I don't like that he doesn't really have, um, I don't know. I don't know. He's hard to defeat, I guess, is where I'm going with that. But you should try it out. Avengers is, is very, very good. I don't know if anybody's read this. Has anybody read these yet? Dusty, I know you've been reading comics. Have you read the new Avengers 1 and 2? Um, really, really good. Really, really good. I mean, it's got like Captain Marvel, and the only thing is it's got She-Hulk, but it's very well drawn. I like it. Um, so it's one of my favorites right now, I would say. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, look, now I'm sitting forward. See, I, I keep, I wish I had a camera that would like move with me. <laughs> Tess, I've come to bargain. Oh, that was so, I see, I didn't like that part of the first movie. That's why I really liked um, the second movie. I just feel like it's cheap. I don't know. It's a cheap win. Oh my God, I'm so behind on Gotham when the kid Joker was coming about. See, so I think it's maybe the same season when that kid, the Joker, whatever, or it's the next season. I'm like four episodes into the next season, I think. Because I remember when he went away. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. I don't want to give things away either since you haven't seen it. I'm trying to save for Disney, so I had to cut back. Oh yeah, when are you going? September, I think, right? I'm going in August. I can't wait. Oh, I love Disney. There's something about just walking into Disney World and walking down Main Street. And it's like every single worry you have goes away. Like I always say that it's like you're literally stepping into another world. Right. It's it's just it's amazing. Like if you have a bad day at Disney, then you're a horrible person and you will never be happy. That's what I always say. If you have a bad day at Disney, you're a miserable human and you will find the bad in anything. So try not to have a bad day at Disney, Dusty, or I will tell you you are a horrible, miserable human being. No, I'm just kidding. But I do always say that when I see people at Disney, like freaking out, yelling, being upset. I'm like, how do you have a bad day at Disney? Like you're at Disney World. You know, that's where you are right now. You could be in a way worse situation right now. Don't complain. Doctor Strange comes back to life in Avengers 4, sends Steve back to Peggy, and then Silver Surfer kills him, and he doesn't come back. I don't know that they have the official rights to silver surfer yet and they've already filmed right they filmed them back to back so i think that has like a lot of people are speculating things and i'm thinking i don't know if they have the rights to that person um but anyway i'm excited have a magical day have a magical day you do you boo dreamworks is better than disney you're crazy don't say that to me i am a huge disney fan disney I'm wearing hakuna matata shirt right um, I'm a Disney vacation club member. So I go to Disney at least twice a year. Um, I'm planning a full sleeve here of, um, Disney villains, which I'm super excited about. I'm quite the Disney fan. Disney is like the top of my list. So, so, you know, DreamWorks is good. Not going to fault DreamWorks, but, uh, 
They're no Disney. Watch more of The Flash. Have not watched Flash and Supernatural. Everybody keeps telling me to watch Supernatural. I'm sure I will. I just, it's so hard to find the time. I am going to, I just, just started rewatching Firefly because I watched it so long ago. I couldn't even. Just started rewatching Firefly. I'm finishing up The Expanse. Legion just finished up last night. I haven't watched it yet. Nobody say anything, but it's been an amazing season. And I just, I'm really upset that it's gone. Fear the Walking Dead I've been watching. That's on break now. Um, what else? I've got a list. Of, I've got to watch Gotham. I've got to watch Supernatural. I've got to watch Breaking Bad. I've never watched Breaking Bad, but I love Better Call Saul. And everybody says Breaking Bad is amazing. So I've got to watch that. I don't know. I have quite the list. I still have to watch Luke Cage. And I have to watch Iron Fist, which, you know, people have said it's a hit or miss, but it's probably good to watch it. Punisher I haven't watched yet. Jessica Jones season two I haven't watched yet. So it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I got a lot of stuff I got to watch. A list a mile long. And it's coming to summer. And since I live in upstate New York and I can barely ever go outside when it is not summer, um, I spend a lot of time outside. So I'm not watching a lot of um, TV, unfortunately. <sighs> okay. They have Galactus. Oh, they do. As of, oh, oh, they traded Teen Warhead. <laughs> as of 2015. Okay. Yeah, I would love to see Galactus. Uh, Cloak and Dagger is great. Yes, that's what I want to talk about, guys. And hi, Hellfire Club. I did not say hi to you, and I apologize. Um, I really want to talk about Cloak and Dagger. So please tell me. All of you have seen it. Amanda, have you watched it yet? Amanda, I know you've been busy. Amanda, I can give you a pass for this week. But next week, I'm going to talk about it, and you're going to hear spoilers. And I know you're supposed to watch it. It is your homework. It is your homework to watch it before Ant-Man, which is in. I think we figured it out already, but I'm going to count it on my calendar right here. It's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more days. Ten more days you have, Amanda, um, to watch Cloak and Dagger. And because we're going to interview the showrunner, which I'm like super thrilled about. So Hellfire Club, if you have any questions, um, we're interviewing the showrunner and to be determined cast. Oh, my God. I'm really, really hoping for Olivia and Aubrey. That would be amazing. Um, Cloak and Dagger. Oh, that would be so good. Um I just, Amanda is not answering me. I want to talk about it, but I don't want to give like super spoilers. Next week, I'm for sure going to talk about it like a, like a lot. Um, she better watch it. She's supposed to watch it, guys. You tell her she has to watch it. Go watch all her reaction videos and comment, have you watched Cloak and Dagger yet? Make her watch it. She has to watch it. She's supposed to watch it. It's her homework. It's her homework to watch it before we go to the event. Um, it's a solid series, right? It's so good. I've seen people complaining that they've like changed their origin a little bit, but like they're not going to make it be about drugs. Like there's enough drugs in the movie. They show drugs, you know, a little bit. You, you don't need to make, who cares about the origins? I don't know. I like when things are different. I don't want everything to be exactly what I've already read and exactly what I already know. Then it's boring. My ring almost fell off. I've lost so much weight, guys. Look at this. My, my wedding ring comes like right off. Look at that. Doesn't even think about I've lost so much weight. But anyways, that's a side subject. Cloak and Dagger is so good. Who's watched it? Let's talk about it. Uh, Hell, Hellfire Club. Tell me your favorite things about it. Did Were you hooked from that first scene? Because for me, that first scene, right, with Little Baby Dagger, because I'm going to call her Little Baby Dagger and Little Baby Cloak, um, amazing. Like, I was so hooked. And... I loved how they immediately, like they already mentioned her mom being, you know, having substance problems basically right from pickup when she forgot to pick her up. That was incredible. And then, oh my God, guys, I got chills and teary eyed the first time I watched it and I've seen it five more times and I still get chills when Cloak is um, up on top of the Roxxon building and he's got the bed sheets around him because he accidentally transported himself. And he's up there and he's got it over his head and around him. I mean, he looks like Cloak, right? He looks like Cloak from the comics. And these aren't really spoilers, guys. Um, I'm trying to be careful because I haven't seen if everybody said they've seen it yet. But it's just phenomenal. And the writing is fantastic. Let me read some of these comments just to make sure I'm not blabbing away when I shouldn't be. Um, I was watching The Incredibles on Freeform. 
Uh, yeah, Incredibles is so good. I love Incredibles. I've seen it so many times. I can't wait for Incredibles 2. Are you going this weekend? I can't go this weekend. And I'm really, really bummed. And I'm really, really upset. And I almost want to go by myself on Friday to see it. But I'm going to have to wait till next week. But we're taking my daughter for her birthday. Like, we're gonna, I'm going to take her out during the day. It's the first day of summer next Friday. I'm going to take her out and get her hair done. Um, and then we'll go to dinner and a movie for her birthday because then the next day I leave her to go to the Ant-Man and the Wasp event. So it's nice to do something nice. And we were maybe going to go this weekend for Father's Day, but now my husband has to work over the weekend. So bleh, that sucks. Hey, CW. Oh, boy. Let's see. A thing for Cloak and Dagger came on and mom was like, oh, don't watch that's magic. It It is magic. I told you. This is a lot of magic. I mean, that's what it is. But it's awesome. Um, no, you know what? We've had the screeners for a couple weeks now and it's debuted on Freeform twice now. Sorry, Amanda. Yeah, she kind of almost has no excuse, right, Dusty? I don't think she's here anymore or she hasn't watched it. So she's being quiet. I don't know. That's what I think. I wonder if she's messaged me at all. She hasn't. Oh, maybe she has. Oh, hold on. I think she has messaged me. Maybe she ditched us. I'm going to check. I'm going to check and see if she ditched us. But I liked talking about it. What did she say? Hmm. I don't know. She's crazy. Um, she didn't really say anything. She just sent me a screenshot of me chatting away on here, which is very weird. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It's kind of stalkerish. But now I know what I look like because I don't know what I look like to you guys. Oh, and it's a horrible pause, too. I'm like, my eyes are half closed, and that's probably exactly what I look like. This is awful. This is not good. Uh, <laughs> it's bad. This is what I look like, guys. Ugh, so embarrassing. Okay. Um, Let's see. What else was I reading? I love the first two episodes of Cloak and Dagger. Oh, it's so good. And it's crazy because, like, I'm trying to talk to you guys, and I'm trying to remember what happens specifically in the third and fourth Um the third and fourth episodes, because I've seen all four episodes um, several times, but I have a little bit of like, what was where you do, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm like afraid to say something and that it happened um, later. So that's why I'm saying things that I know happened early on. Cause I would feel really bad if I ruined something for everyone. And I think I'd probably get in trouble. <laughs> I don't want that. You hate superheroes. Okay. Evil father. Well, you're in the wrong place. I love them. I love how different their lives are. They're both such strong characters. They are, I know. And something that, you know, I think I've talked about this with you or I maybe talked about it last time. I kind of like that they introduced something that um, they didn't have in the comics, right? Which was the, the like hopes and fears thing. Sorry, my Fitbit just lit up because it's finished charging. Look how cool is this? Isn't that the coolest ever like Fitbit thing? I love it. Fitbit clock. I think they're called clocks. But anyway, finished charging. So I got to put it on because I, I got to make sure I get all my, you know, steps and heartbeat ratings and whatever, all that stuff. Um, anyway, I think Amanda put me on pause here. Probably. She's probably busy. I know she's busy. She's moving. So I bet you she's just unpacking and watching, um, and not typing. That's my guess. I, I think I know she's busy, but you still have to watch Cloak and Dagger, Amanda. Still have to watch it. Oh, Joshua doesn't want you to ditch her. Hit ditch him. Sorry, Joshua. Amanda. Uh, dropped a like as always. Thank you, CW. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're going to start watching Supernatural, you got 12 seasons. I know. That's the thing, right? So I also want to watch Doctor Who. Never watch Doctor Who. But like, where do I start? Right? It's like, I need to. I don't know. Is Supernatural a show? Here's a question for you. So like, if I'm doing work, like writing. At my desk, right up here, right here, I have a TV. So I put on junk shows, right? Like Teen Mom and um, all that kind of stuff that I don't have to like super pay attention to. But it's supernatural, something I like have to be watching it um, constantly. Or can I like listen to it and still get the gist of it? Because I could like start it in September. And if I pick a show, I can watch it right through. Um you know, if I watch it for like five hours a day while I'm doing work, but, um, it would have to be something that I, I don't, I can't like, I don't have to like stare at it. Right. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I do want to watch it. I really, really want to watch it. Um, again, it's been on my list forever, but it's like, uh, once I get past like the third season, I'm like, Oh my God, where do I even start? And then I just like give up, <laughs> which is crazy. Later on, season three gets released, like end of the year, and then fall season 14 premieres. Man, so if I could try to get it 
There's no way. I don't know. Hey, blank ballot two. <laughs> Still only four screeners. I know. I meant to ask when we're probably going to get it, and I didn't. But I think we're going to get the fifth screener, like, probably next week. Um, I think they gave us the forehead just so we could be, like, ready and watch. Um, and then now, you know, they'll do one one week ahead of release, if that makes sense. Hopefully we'll see another one next week. I'm trying to figure out what episode we're going to see when we're there. Like, what episode do you think we're going to see? Is it going to be episode four? No. Because episode three will be this week. Episode four will be next week. So, honestly, we'll see episode five um, with the showrunner uh, in L.A. for our Ant-Man event um, uh, about a week ahead of time, worst case, right? And what night of the week is it? Thursdays? So our interview posts are probably going to be due that Thursday, guys. So probably, probably, this is all speculation, but my guess is on the 28th of June, you'll be able to go to my website, mamasgeeky.com. You'll be able to go to Dusty's website, as mom sees it, maybe.com. I'm really bad. Some people are .net, some are .com. Um, Amanda's website, Guide for Moms. You're going to be able to go to all these websites and see our interviews um, with, uh, it is .com for Dusty. don't know, but my speculation is it's going to be the 28th. So if you have any questions you want us to ask, especially after seeing Cloak and Dagger, please let us know um, because we're going to be talking with the showrunner and some of the cast. We don't know who yet. I have my fingers crossed for Cloak and Dagger themselves, but I don't know. So let's talk about it. You know, you guys saw it. What did you think? I don't want to just ramble about it. I want to see what you guys are saying and have like a conversation. Um, but it looks so good. And if you have any questions, seriously, let us know. Um, let's see. The Scooby-Doo episode. Whoa, what did I miss? Oh, you're talking about Supernatural as tie-ins. Oh, so you have to like watch, watch it. If, if it's like, so here's the thing. I'll get into it and I'll watch it for like 10, 15 minutes. And then like, I'll go back to like writing. If I'm doing like a interview where I have to listen to the transcript, listen to the transcript, listen to the audio, read the transcript, I usually don't have anything on. Um, but I'm talking about when I'm just doing like other crap, even like social stuff, you know, like just doing stuff. I, I need to like look at the computer, but I can still have the TV on. It's pretty complex. You gotta pay attention. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> oh, well. I have the same problem as you. I have TV going on the computer and playing guitar. <laughs> yeah, for real though. I get a lot of stuff I'm doing it all at once. Um, well, you said you don't have to watch, but Glance said it, so we'll see. Um, I might try, right? It'll the, the only thing is it'll take me a lot longer to get through if I can't watch it while I'm doing work because I have to do my work, right? I have to get paid so that I can have time to sit around and watch TV, right? I love what they do with the sort of cloak and dagger. It's so good, right? It's so good. It's so good. I think it's the first still. I don't know what you mean the first still. I missed, missed. See, I talk too much. And I don't read it quick enough. Um, in Infinity 2, Infinity 2. Oh, Infinity War 2. I got you. I was like, Infinity 2. The one way Strange saw those succeeds. I think everybody's pretty much guessing that that's what's going to happen. Um, I had an interview with Ann Nascenti from Marvel Comics. Um, my video is on here and she said the same thing. She said, that's what she expects. I mean, that's what everyone thinks, right? Dr. Strange has something up his sleeve. We will see. We will see if he is as smart as, uh, everybody seems to think he is, but I'm really excited that apparently Kevin said there are going to be, uh, I say Kevin, like we're on a first name basis. Kevin Feige, uh, the president of Marvel studios said there's going to be new characters from the comics that we haven't seen before. And I'm so excited. Like, I really hope Namor. I really, really hope to see Namor. I mean, Sentry would be incredible. I love Sentry. Um, I mean, who would you like to see? There's so many. There's so many. I, I just, uh, oh, my God. Armor would be amazing. I don't know if she's technically an X-Fan and we don't have rights to her yet. I don't know. I don't know. But I am very excited at the possibility of lots of new Marvel people. Very, very excited. Living Tribunal, yes, that would be amazing. That's totally possible. I could totally see that happening. Um, I'm just not 100% sure exactly who they have the rights to, and I really need to research that. And then I'll probably write a whole article at mamasgeeky.com about who I want to see and why. That's probably what I'll do. 
I actually have already started it, but um, I don't know when I'll end up posting it. We'll see. A gif of Wanda crying. <laughs> well, don't do it. If it's going to make things awkward and weird, then just don't do not do it. Don't let your friend bully you into doing things that you don't want to do. <sighs> right? Peer pressure. Yeah. Don't give in. Don't give in. Supernatural Lost Space is shorter. Lost Space I'm probably going to end up watching with my husband. Um, he really wants to see it. So I think, but I think Supernatural, he's like, oh, it's too far. Just like with Doctor Who, right? We don't even know where to start. I know I will love it, but like, that's, I don't know. It's hard. Thanos is going to be a good guy in Avengers 4. Totally agree. I had that in my predictions. I think he's going to team up with the guys to help. Um, he did in Infinity Gauntlet Comics. And I really think that we're going to see that. I think Nebula is going to end up with, I hope Nebula, she really deserves it. I think Nebula is going to end up with the gauntlet somehow, just like an Infinity Gauntlet. And I think um, Thanos is going to team up to help get it away from her. That's what I think. Hopefully. If, if that happens, that will make me so excited. And I'll be, oh, I'll be so happy. Love the supernatural Scooby-Doo. I don't know that. Sorry. Great to see you on. Hi. Great to see you, T. Lee Jones. I'm glad you're joining me. I always look forward to having you guys join me. It's so much fun. Um, I know that, you know, there'll be that little core group of you guys that comes. And that makes me happy. And I look forward to it. I look forward to our discussions. Captain Marvel. Of course we will see Captain Marvel. Ronan. Of course we will see Ronan, which is not to be confused with Ronan. Okay. Which we might see him if they're in another universe because he's dead. Um, but, uh, yeah, Hawkeye's going to be Ronan, 100%. I don't even question that. And now, have you guys seen the news that they're considering a Hawkeye solo movie? <laughs> this makes me the most happiest person in the entire world. I am obsessed with Hawkeye. I love Hawkeye. I have my little Hawkeye right over here. He's right here. I love him. And I love Jeremy Renner. And I think he's the most perfect Hawkeye. Jeremy Renner is the most perfect Clint Barton. I love him. I think he's sexy and he's fun and he can sing. And I like him a lot. So that's what I have to say about that. I hope he has his own movie. I would be very excited. Sorry, I don't get Cloak and Dagger. I see it's good, but I still don't get it. My brother had dinner with the people at Marvel. It's been so-called Vault. Marvel itself in New York. Yes. So, um... I think you told me he's been to the the, the vault uh, in New York. That's really cool. Um, I was out at Marvel Studios in LA, which was pretty amazing. I have the tour on my website. If you go to mamasgeeky.com and just search Marvel Studios tour, probably it pops up. I don't know if you go to the Marvel section. I know it's on the second page. Um, but there's lots of pictures from there. It was it was amazing. It was really cool to see everything. There was all sorts of memorabilia. And there's like a giant lending wall, which is amazing. Like with a crap ton of comics so that writers can do research. Um, did you see, um, Cloak and Dagger then Blank Palette? Because it was amazing. Like, it's probably my favorite Marvel show. I think I like it better than Jessica Jones. Yeah, I think I do. I think I'm, I think I can lock that in. I think I can lock that in. I love it. It's so good. Yeah, I'm locking it in. Locking it in. Hands down my favorite. Okay. Deathlock. Yes. Deathlock. Mojo. I want to see Mojo. Right. I want to see, um, what's his name? Long Shot. If I, if we got a Mojo universe, I, my mind would explode. I would be so excited. If you have not read any Mojo universe stuff, oh my God, it's so good. And it's still so relevant because Mojo is basically like, um, a monopoly, right? He has this monopoly and he controls in his universe, like all the entertainment. He, he kidnaps superheroes and makes them do like crazy game shows and stuff. And he, everything's on TV and it's just so relevant to the world now where like the media controls everything. I say this as a member of the media, but um, <laughs> you know, and it, ah, it's just so good. I, you need to, if you haven't read Mojo stuff, Mojo long shot, you got to read it. Daredevil is like, uh, oh my God, it's so good. Typhoid Mary, all of it. Oh my God, it's amazing. Look it up. Random, but I feel like I'm the only one who ships Steve Rogers with Natasha Romanoff. Who puts them who ship like puts them together as a couple. That'd be interesting. I don't know. That'll be kind of weird. Hello. I'm new. I found your channel through Wreck-It Ralph too. Yes. I'm so excited for Wreck-It Ralph too. You had to bring it up. Ah, as you could tell from my reaction video, 
I'm so excited for that movie. Like, I loved the first one. I mean, it's video games, right? So, hello, obviously, I like it. But the second one, all the references, all the things we saw, like Iron Man and just all the princesses. Like, I'm a huge Disney nerd, which I've said before. I'm a huge Disney fan. So, like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. So, thank you for coming to my channel, Barry. I'm super excited. Um, and, ah, oh, I'm glad you like all my reaction videos. And, oh, my God, Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, my God, you've got me all excited now. <sighs> Ralph so much. I cannot wait for this movie. It's going to be so good. Sarah Silverman is like brilliant, right? She's amazing. She's so amazing. I've seen her in this show crashing, which is so funny on HBO and she's so good. And then to see her as like Vanellope, like, ah, I just love her. I love her so much. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. Now I want to go watch Wreck-It Ralph. It's one of my favorite movies. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah, boy. Okay. Sorry more of a horror fan. See, I like horror. I love horror. Don't get me wrong. And I really, I like slash hate being scared. Um, but I scare way too easily. Um, I startle very easily, I guess is probably a better word. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have to say about that. Now, Ronan and Ronan team up to start a band. That'd be very interesting. Hawk mother F and I movie. I know. But it ain't Clint Barton Hawkeye. What do you mean? The movie's not going to be Clint Barton Hawkeye. Don't tell me that. I don't want to hear it. Mm -mm. Nope. I want Jeremy Renner. I want Clint Barton. I don't want that other girl Hawkeye. I don't want it. Mm -mm. They could be together. They could be together. How about they're together? I mean, not together, together, but together in the movie. I'm okay with that. Um, no, I want Clint Barton Hawkeye. See, mm -mm. I didn't read that. You're making me want to Google it. If you have a link, post it in here and I'll check it out after. I don't want to, no, you're making me really sad. If that's true, <laughs> you're making me really sad. Where's Amanda at? I don't know where Amanda's at. She was messaging me. I don't know where she is. I will check. I'm going to tell her people are asking for her. Would you like me to tell her that? I'm going to tell her that. Say Amanda. They are asking for you. Come back. That's what I said. Okay. Let's see. I asked her to come back. We'll see if we can get her to come back. I think she has it on and she's probably unpacking. She's just like listening to it in the background. That's my guess. Uh, yes, I did like it. It didn't give any clues of what or how or why the powers. Ah! Uh, did it not? See, I've seen the first four episodes. So I'm trying to think. I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to give anything away. But they tell you how they got their powers, kind of. They kind of do. So maybe that's later. And if it is, I'm sorry. But I really thought it was towards the beginning. I know who Mojo X-Men series is. Yeah, Mojo's amazing. Mojo is amazing. Have you seen Trick or Treat? The movie Trick or Treat? I don't know. What year was it? I watched a lot of like scary movies and I don't remember. You know, I will tell you, I was disappointed. There was that one on Netflix that everyone said was super scary and it was like all in another language and I had to read subtitles and it wasn't that, that scary. Somewhat recent. And I was like, mm, this is not that scary. So whatever. It was not good. What about Spiral? Yes. I know exactly who Spiral is. Six R. She's amazing. I would love to see her. That's good. Oh, man. I really need to research all the rights. I've said it a thousand times, but I need to know who Marvel has before I get my hopes up. Um, and Squirrel Girl. Of course, Squirrel Girl. I mean, there's not even a question about Squirrel Girl. And like Miss Marvel, like young Miss Marvel, which I'm sure we'll see. I mean, Young Avengers, I'm sure we're going to see, right? Cassie is stature. We're going to see her. But, um, oh, my God. You know who I want to see? Who's the gay couple? And I love them. Uh, Richter. Richter and oh my god I'm drawing a blank I can see them someone tell me it's Richter and uh war some no oh my god is it warlock is that his name in the young avengers there's these two guys that date and uh they're amazing shatterstar now I'm confused is Richter and shatterstar the older ones yes they're the older ones and then it's hulkling and Hulkling and it's Hulkling. It's Hulkling is the kids. Shatterstar and Richter. I love them. Yes. hundred percent love them. But who's the, who's the young Avengers? It's Hulkling and ah, who is it? 
I think it's Hulkling and Warlock, right? It's Scarlet Witch's son. I, I can tell you that. And, and I'm trying to think of what his name is. Wiccan. Yes, thank you. Oh, it was really bothering me. I love them. So for seeing Young Avengers, I would love to see them involved. And I think that would be amazing to have a, a very powerful, very um, real, real, right? They have a lot of fight. Like this stuff, I almost said a bad word, is real for them. Um, so I would love to see them in on in the MCU if they do a Young Avengers. I would love to see Hulkling and Wiccan. But yes, Shatterstar um, and uh, what's his name now? I can't even anymore. I, this is too much. There's too many names I'm thinking of. Um, Richter and Shatterstar, I would love to see. And then Hulkling and Wic Wiccan, I would love to see them. But I would love to see them as a gay couple. I think that would be amazing. Um, I'm scrolling up because you guys went too fast. Uh, where's Amanda? I don't know. She disappeared. Um, let's see. wreck it Ralph 2 in the Spider-Verse. Bumblebee, How to Train Your Dragon. Lego Movie 2, My Child is Trying to Destroy Me. <laughs> That's funny. Which live action Disney are you excited for in 2019? Well, I'm going to say Dumbo today because the Dumbo teaser trailer has me like over the moon. Honestly, all of them. But like Dumbo is like... It blew my mind today. I mean, I have my trailer reaction if you haven't seen it yet. But like getting to see him fly was like, ah, oh, it was like my childhood is exploding. It was amazing. So right now I'm going to say Dumbo, but that's probably just because of the circumstances of today. I'd have to really sit and think. But for now, locking in on Dumbo. Hawkeye dies in Avengers 4. Psh, whatever. You don't know that. Then just the Angels of Shield. Let me see every week and let me see. Well, I'd be totally cool with that. And I'd love to look at him. But I think it's a short season of um, Agents of Shield, and then that's it. So it will only be like eight episodes, I think, or eleven. I don't know. Still sad. I'm here. No one needs Amanda. We, well, yeah, but we all need Amanda in our life, Dusty. We need everybody, right? Be a good friend. <laughs> um, that's funny, Monica. Much. That's funny. Kate Bishop is better than Clint Barton. No, 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 no. You didn't just say that, did you? Did you really just say that? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I mean, I guess you have an excuse. Whatever. You love the ladies. Fine. But I do love the comic book ladies. Very much so. But I really like Clint Barton Hawkeye. He's like my favorite. And I love him. I want to marry him. If I was going to marry a comic book character, it would be Hawkeye. 100 billion percent. It would be Hawkeye. Yep, it would be. He's maybe not the best boyfriend, but I don't care. Maybe he'd make a better husband. He wasn't a very good husband, was he? I just still don't care. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, scroll down. So let me see. I'm excited, too. So much I'm excited for. Venom movie. Venom, I'm telling you, the second one I saw looked way better than that little teaser trailer we got before. I didn't like it. I feel like too many people feel they want Spider-Man in there. Yeah, I think people are just saying, how would you have Venom without Spider-Man, right? Which I kind of understand. Um, I am i don't know that we're going to get Spider-Man, though. But I, you know, it's a villain movie, like you said. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Hot water. Amanda's busy. <laughs> Cagney and Lacey. She's unpacking, I think. Mm. We don't ask for you because you're always here. Exactly, Dusty. Hi. Hey, Jasmine. What's up? Let me just blab it on about comic books and such. Um, Cloak and Dagger. Who has seen it? New Warriors on ABC. When does New Warriors come out? Did we Have we heard anything recently? Because I feel like it's been a while. I gotta look it up. Trick or Treat came out in 2007. I may have seen it, but I probably haven't. Um... Let's see. I'm not into Cloak and Dagger. What do you think of the show? I love the show. Now, I'm not into Cloak and Dagger in the comic books. I've said this before. Um, I like when they do, like, their crossover stuff. Like, I like when they were Infinity Gauntlet. I like when they're a part of a main story. But I was never really into, like, their own stories. Um, so maybe that's part of why I love this so much. But I just really, really love... I just loved the movie. I loved the show so much. I'm so addicted to this show. I have watched... We I have access to four... times more than that I don't know oh my god it's so good I really think it's so good 
Um, Richard Chatterstar, Holdling, and Wiccan. Yeah. Oh, my God. Miss America. Marvel Boy. <sighs> Fine. I guess Amanda, too. <laughs> Scarlet Witch should have the Tyrion red dress on. That's the whole history. They cheated us. <laughs> well, where's Fallout? Wrong stream. Ha, ha. That's funny. Fallout is right there. Ooh, there it is. There's Fallout. Um, I wanted to play Fallout today. I was excited as I was almost caught up in my work and I said, I'm going to play Fallout for like two hours, two hours before I do my live stream. And then time got away from me. And guess what? I didn't have time to play Fallout. So, oh, well, maybe tomorrow I will play some Fallout. Hopefully tomorrow. I think my daughter has a field trip I'm supposed to help with tomorrow, but whatever. <laughs> Dusty, do you need a hug? They said they're working on Trick or Treat too. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I don't know that I saw it. Uh, no House of M. Why? We need House of M. House of M would be a fantastic movie. Fantastic movie. It would be so good. By the way, guys, I just got a notification from New York Comic Con that fan verification, verification is now open. So, you know, if you're interested in going to New York Comic Con, fan verification is now open. So get on that. Um, so good. Did you see the Nun trailer yet? I'm excited for this. I love the Conjuring series. Okay. So Amanda, my friend Amanda, she's not commenting here, but if you go up, you will see her. She's Amanda Taylor dash guide for moms. She reacted to the nun trailer. So I watched her reaction and then I thought, oh, well, now I can't do a reaction video to it because I like to be genuine and I like to have, you know, not seen um, the actual trailer before, before I react to it. Uh, but I saw hers and it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. I was more watching her than watching, um, the trailer because she was hilarious and I'm pretty sure she actually cried. Um, which is funny, but I mean, not funny, but it was kind of funny. Um, so check it out. You might like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for it when there's like another trailer for it. I'll do it. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm sorry guys. Oh boy. House of M will be perfect. I mean, it really would be so perfect with, like you said, with all the crap Wanda's gone through. Um, I, I can totally see a Wanda, Wanda centric movie, right? I'm, I'm sure there's one in the works and, um, for it to be house of M would be perfect. Uh, it would be amazing. I would like to have more rights to certain other people first, like, especially like Emma Frost and, um, what's his name? Cyclops and, um, a whole bunch of them. I hope Namor's in it. I mean, I would love to see like all like X-Men, right? With with House of M, because it just really works out well because you know, mutants and all. Um man, I it just I get so excited thinking about House of M. Oh, it'd be so good. It's one of my favorite storylines, probably. Absolutely one of my favorite storylines. So I'd be really, really excited. After the Trick or Treat movie, they're going to make a four comic series, but instead has released a graphic novel in 20, 2009. Oh. I don't know. Um, I don't, it doesn't even ring a bell. So I'd have to like, look it up. Are you in it computers? Uh, I'm not. What is the best language to learn? Because I want to include, Oh, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really, so I can't really give you advice there. So I'm sorry. Emma Frost is on the flash though. Oh, well now I have to watch the flash. So thanks for adding that to my list of things I got to watch. Gosh, I love Emma Frost. <laughs> she is absolutely one of my favorites. I love her so much. She's kind of slutty, though. A little bit. She's a little bit, just a little bit slutty. But I like her. <laughs> Anyways, I forgive her for that. Um, I really like her. And the Hellfire Club and that whole, oh my gosh, it's all so good. Oh, now I have to watch The Flash. House of M is in my top 10 favorite Marvel events. Yeah, me too. So Secret Invasion is first for me. Then Dark Avengers, even though they're kind of related um, for sure. House of M is probably third. Infinity Gauntlet is up there, right? Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, if you want to combine them together, I don't know. Um, I don't know. What else? Please stop calling me Dusty. I'm not calling you Dusty. I'm calling my friend Dusty. As as uh, what is as mom sees it is Dusty. So that's my friend Dusty. So I'm not calling you Dusty. I don't even know what that means. Is that an insult? I know it as my friend's name. I don't know. <laughs> Dusty, your name's an insult, I guess. 
<laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Ah, I find that very funny. <laughs> Dusty. I can't even call you by your name now. I'm just going to laugh every time I say, oh, no. Poor Dusty has already had such a bad day. <laughs> and now she's being told her name is an insult. <laughs> oh, poor Dusty. Oh, let's see how many times I laugh next weekend talking to you, Dusty. I'm just going to have to keep saying your name. <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry. Oh, okay. Whew. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny the trailer came out. It would be literally four months away. It's not Emma Frost. It's Killer Frost. And I'm huge DC. Oh. I was like, how's Emma Frost in, in The Flash? I was thinking there could be, be a crossover. Because there are crossovers. Um, I've seen crossovers and stuff before. So, um. That would be cool if they did. I don't know. I just want Emma Frost. I just want House of M. That's what I want. House of M. I was talking about my favorite things and we got all distracted. That was funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Secret War. That's another good one. Um, Secret Evasion has got to be my top one, though. That and Dark Avengers. Dark Avengers was so good with Norman Osborn going just off the wall banana pants. Like, he's a crazy, crazy person, but he just went... Phew. Really, totally nuts. It was awesome. Um, they already sent VIP near Comic Con badges. I'm not saying he got them. Sh I have media passes. I don't know that I'll go. Um, I get them every year, and I just kind of decide last minute. It's a pain in the ass, honestly, to drive um, down to the city. Like, it's such a pain. Um, for me, it's like almost six-hour drive. And then I'd stay the night and it's like, do I go for the whole weekend? Is my family going to come with me? It just becomes such a pain. So I've only on once in like four years of getting media passes, but um, I just got an email talking about, I don't know. There's some other panel announcement. I'll click on it and I'll read it to you guys. The day is here. Van fan verification 2018 is now open through July 8th. If you don't roll over an account from last year, you'll need to create one. Make sure you forward this to your friends and family. Blah, blah, blah. What's the other? An Outlander panel. An Outlander panel. That's pretty cool. It's going to be on Saturday. Presented by Stars and Sony. So, yeah. That's what I was told. Um, anyway, that was that news. Let's see what else people are saying. No, I was just confused. Like, you read something I wrote and say Dusty. Like, what? Well, if I just see her seeing something I was like talking to her because that's she's my friend and her name is Dusty uh she didn't give me a complex or anything I know <laughs> you poor thing you had like the worst day oh that's funny <laughs> I know we're all good here yeah no it's just funny because it, her and I were messaging earlier and she's had like a horrible horrible day so it was just like icing on the cake it was just funny that's all <laughs> Would you like to see Hawkeye with the mask on in Avengers 4? Eh, either way. I don't really. It doesn't affect me. Classic movie I used to love watching when I was seven years old. I think. You guys hear that? There's like all these sirens outside. Hmm. Sounds like they're going away, though. Uh, classic movie I used to love watching when I was seven years old, I think, was in 1999, The Night Before Christmas. Oh, my God. I love The Night Before Christmas. I have Night Before Christmas. Um. Oh, it's like a mess over there. I don't want to show you guys, but I'll show you another time. Uh, Cuckoo Clock. And it's amazing. I love it. Night Before Christmas is awesome. My husband has a Night Before Christmas tattoo. Well, sort of. It's Kingdom Hearts, but it's when they were in Halloween Town. So it's got Jack. But then it's got like, you know, Sora and Goofy and Mickey all in their like Halloween costumes. And it's awesome. Watch your mouth. I don't come here to laugh. That's not very nice. And in all capitals. Why? Because I said it's a pain in the ass to drive down there. I don't know. Um... Oh, you just redirected it. I would love to go to New York Comic Con and San Diego. San Diego Comic Con is like on my list. Like, like way high up. Like I would kill to go there. And I think it was last year. Uh, I don't know if it was last year there or it's upcoming. It wouldn't be. It must have been last year. Unless it's in the future for next year. But we wouldn't know that. Um D23 was right around the same time, like this, like the weekend, they were like two weekends in a row. And I was like, man, I should go out there for that because we would have D23 and San Diego Comic-Con and that would be amazing. 
but um, just didn't make it out there. It's just, uh, it sucks because like I could get media passes, but that's even harder for me to get out there. It's in at least two flights to get out there. I mean, I travel out to LA and it's ridiculous and it's really hard. Um, so I don't know. I I would love to get out there. I wish they had like press events that they would like fly us out there because then I would totally go. Um, but it's just really hard uh, to get out there. And like I said, with New York, it's just so far away and it's hard. And if I got to leave my family or not, and then, you know, yes, I can write it off, but I still got to cover the hotel at first and travel to get there. It's awful driving in the city. I hate driving in the city. Um, so I don't know. Oh, it's a lot. Wait, today's the 13th. Google the Avengers for name. Why? Is it supposed to come out today? No. Also, that was a total lie. That was supposed to be released today and the Captain Marvel, te Captain Marvel teaser trailer. And I asked my contact and he was like, there's absolutely no truth to that. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. And if you looked at all the rumors, it was someone saying, oh, I think it would be awesome if they released a Captain Marvel trailer and the Avengers 4 name at Cine whatever. It was whatever this con was. Um, and they released the Dumbo trailer. So that's what they released was the Dumbo trailer. Um, that's what Disney released. So not to Captain Marvel, not Avengers 4, probably. I'd be very surprised because I asked and I was told there was no truth to that. So <sighs> could I think Nightmare Before Christmas came out in 91 or 94? I don't know when it came out, but it was amazing. It's one of my favorite movies. I watch it all the time. My daughters love it. They've, they've grown up on it. it. I love it. It's a fantastic movie. Now I'm singing This is Halloween in my head and I will not sing it out loud. Boy, it is also getting really close to, I just should get off the computer and get up the live, but uh, I really enjoyed the Evolutionary War event. Evolutionary War event. Do I know what one that is? Give me a quick Evolutionary War event. Um, Annihilation, I love. Annihilation and Annihilation Conquest are right up there too. Um, so good. Am I crazy to say that I enjoyed Avengers 2, but I didn't like it that much because Ant-Man and Iron Man create Ultron, not Tony and Banner. And also anyone, and also anyone Smash fans that news. Oh, 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 Smash not, I was like Smash in Marvel. But yeah, you're talking about the game for Switch. I'm so excited for that game. Um, there's going to be a lot of amazing games out. Like E3 really brought it with their trailers and their announcements. Um, I'm super excited, right? We've got the Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff, which is incredible. We've got Fallout, which is amazing. Um, you know, we've got the Smash Brothers. We've got, oh my God, there was like two or three other things. Halo Infinite. And uh, there was a few other things I was really super excited about. Uh, I didn't realize how big it could get until I got to D23. How big uh, the cons could get. It's crazy. They're so big. I can't wait for San Diego Comic Con. Like, I'm telling myself I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. I think that the first Captain Marvel trailer will be before Ant-Man and the Wasp. You think so? I don't know. They're still filming. They still have a month of filming. So that would be pretty, um, that would be kind of pretty close. But I guess they could take some stuff and then put it in there. I don't know. They could. They could. Um, it take SR 71 only takes 68 minutes to California. Well, not from upstate New York. There's no way it only takes me 68 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, it takes me a long, long time. Uh, Captain Marvel feature was just shown at Cineer Park. There's no way it was. You're wrong. I specifically asked if anything was, is it just like concept art? Cause that doesn't really count. Concept art never counts. I've seen concept art already. Fallout is online PvP. I know, but it's going to be fun. Come on, it's Fallout. It's so awesome. Do you see the Nun trailer? Oh, yeah. So I talked about it earlier. I actually saw my friend Amanda's reaction to the Nun trailer. So I didn't react to it because I had already seen the trailer. Um, but if you want to see a reaction, you go to Amanda's. It's awesome. Um, she cries and she's a scary cat. So it's definitely worth, worth the view. Uh, and it's good. I really liked it. Um, Dusty, you tell me, you Google it. Tell me if that's true. Cause I don't think it's true. And if it is true, then I need to get off here and record a video of me talking about the concept art. 
or whatever it is that they showed. A lot of water. That was the rumor. No, I know it was the rumor, and I asked somebody, and I was told there's absolutely 100% no truth to it. So I would be totally shocked if it was. Final Hope is the leaked title, Forever Heroes. What? Or are you just saying it just says FH? Who knows, though? I mean, who really knows? What, do you, what am I looking forward to at Comic-Con? Not much, really, to be perfectly honest with you this year, because Marvel says they're not going to San Diego Comic-Con, so... And they're what I care about the most. Um, so, you know, that's not really, this wouldn't be my year to go. We'll put it that way. So I'm glad I'm not going this year. Hey, Mike Rock Movie Reviews. What's up? I'm about to get off, but how are you? I, uh, man, I've been talking for an hour and 10 minutes. It's crazy. I ran out of water and my throat's starting to hurt because I ran out of water. So sad. I'm still wanting to get my first tattoo. It has to be writers. Pfft, whatever. Go Patriots. That's what I have to say to that. Tattoos of all, all the horror legends. That's cool. You can make a really sick sleeve with that. That would be amazing. I am doing um, Disney villains on this arm, which I'm super, super excited about. Super excited about. The Jump Force, Goku. Yeah, I mean, right. There's so much. Anime fighting game. Yes, I know. I'm really, really excited uh, for everything that's coming out of E3. Um, I'm a huge gamer when I actually have time to game. I love it. Um, sorry, guys. My hair is bothering me. Um, yeah. So I'm excited. Uh, how is this Cloak & Dagger show anyway? Okay. So you haven't watched it yet. So this is what I'm going to tell you, Mike Rock. First of all, watch it. Um I will admit, not a huge fan of Cloak and Dagger. I just said this earlier in the comic books, okay? I like them in the crossovers, but, like, I never got into, like, reading their own stuff. If they ever had their own series, I was like, I really don't care. But in Infinity Gauntlet, yeah, I want to know what's going on with them, that type of thing. In Secret Invasion, I want to know what's going on with them. But do I care about their own individual stories? No, not really. So, um, it's it's so good. Like, within the first 10 minutes, I was instantly hooked. There's this first scene. The very first scene, you see little... And I'm not really giving much away. But you see little dagger, like baby dagger, I call her. But she, she's like a kid. She's doing ballet. And then you see little cloak, right? And he's, like, on the streets running with his brother. Because, you know, they're just coming from two different worlds, right? He's, like, kind of a thug. And she's, like, very rich. And, and you know, they come from two different... That whole scene. And I'm not going to give anything away. It's a solid, I don't know, five, seven minutes, maybe. It's incredible. And it immediately hooked me. And I was like, I need to know what's going to happen with these kids. And you don't see, I mean, you in flashbacks, see the kids, but you see them mostly as um, Olivia Holt and Aubrey. Forgive me, I forget his last name. Um, incredible. And the storyline, the things we've seen, them discovering their powers and their connections and, and their lives are just so good. Now, I've seen the first four episodes um, because I got press screeners. So I got to see, I actually got to see them like two months ago and it's, it's phenomenal. I was hooked right away. Um, it's a new kind of superhero show. It's, it's probably my favorite Marvel TV show, hands down. Like I think more than agents of shield it's, it's phenomenal. That's I worth watching. Okay. Um, next week I'm so excited during the uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp event from the 23rd to the 25th, I'm going to be in LA and, um, I am going to, um, be interviewing the showrunner for Cloak and Dagger and also to be determined to talent. Fingers crossed. It's Cloak and Dagger themselves. So if you watch it and you have any questions, please, you can email me Tessa at mama's geeky.com. Um, you know, just, uh, let me know if you have any questions for them. Um, but I'm super excited and, and, and we're going to watch a, a new episode, a brand new episode too. So I ah, can't wait. I'm super excited. So it's phenomenal. That's all I'll say. It's phenomenal. You have to watch it, see it for yourself. But um, if, if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Cloak and Dagger fan, and even if you're a, just a TV fan, right, you're, you're going to like it, I think. Um, you don't even have to really be a Marvel fan. Like, it's a good, like, drama. Um, even not even really liking Marvel, I think. Personally, that's my opinion. Dusty has seen it, too. Um, she might comment here uh, and let you know what she thinks. But um, it's good. It's good. I'm excited. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I gotta scroll up. You look great as always. Oh, thanks, CW. Sorry, been a bit rude. That's okay. I forgive you. Oh, the first footage from Captain Marvel was released at Cine Europe today. Oh, uh, okay, right. But it was just like a D23. You saw Infinity War and you're not going to see anything yet, right? Unless you were in the panel. Marvel may hold off on Captain Marvel movie. Don't know why, though. I don't think they will. They're filming it. They're almost done filming it. Um... Do you think Sony will have a Venom panel? They might. They should, right? That would be smart, but how many tattoos do you have? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, I don't even know. I would have to, I have one, two, three on my back. Two little ones, one big one. Rogan Gambit, a flower, a butterfly. I've got this sleeve tattoo, if you count it as one. It was like, I don't even know how many sessions. Ten sessions, maybe. I don't know. It was like 40-something hours. Um... I have a Red Sox bat smashing the Yankee logo on my leg. I have a Patriots logo on my foot. I have a heart on my other foot. I have a heart in a rose on my hip. I have Poison Ivy on my, uh, the comic book character on my leg. I think that's it. Oh, and I have my wedding date right here. So... However many that was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten. Nine or ten. Ish. Oh guys, I gotta get going. All right. Unfortunately, we won't be getting the Captain Marvel teaser trailer together, although a short feature out was shown. Yeah, okay. All right, we will call you Medusa because of her. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Please do call me her. I love her, but I haven't seen in humans yet because I love her. Wait, why the Patriots? Because I grew up outside of Boston. So always been a Patriots fan. Always been a Red Sox fan. <sighs> Hawk and Dove, Overcloak and Dagger, comic book wise. Mm. 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 That's my response to that. Nah. It's good. It shows so good. I just realized Hall and Oates haven't been in the Guardian film. So. Okay. <laughs> I'll give that show a chance. Yes, you really, really should, Mike Rock. I swear to God, it's so good. It's such an amazing. Oakland, Los Angeles, Las Vegas Raiders. Haha, <laughs> sorry. That's the way I act when it comes to football. Patriots girl. I love me some Tom Brady. Can't help it. <laughs> but it's because I grew up outside of Boston. So like when Bledsoe was, I still suffered through it, right? I suffered through the horrible, horrible years. And just because we're good now, sorry. Hate us because you ain't us. That's what I say. You hate us because you ain't us. Hell yeah, I'm a Marvel fan. All right, Love Agents of Shadow, Daredevil. Yeah, I think you will like, really, really like Cloak, Cloak and Dagger. If you like Agents of Shield and Daredevil, which are some of my favorites, I mean, I really think you'll like Cloak and Dagger. Here's the thing I'm going to be live next week, same time, okay? Uh, One o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you can watch um, Cloak and Dagger before then, try to do it. Um, so that you can be part of the discussion next week. Cause I already told, I already warned people I'm talking about it next week. Like a lot. Wonder Woman 2, new title. Eh, don't really care about Wonder Woman. Haven't seen the first one. I know I keep hearing it's amazing. I really should watch it. Um, I might. Maybe Hawkeye wasn't in the movie because he broke both wrists during the time they were shooting. Uh, that was during Infinity War 2. So they shot them both at the same time. Um, I don't think that had anything to do with it. He continued. I read an interview with him and saw an interview with him and he continued to, um, to shoot every day, even with his broken wrist, which is crazy and badass. And another reason why I love Jeremy Renner. One of my friends is a Patriots fan. Well, good. I like your friend then because the Patriots are awesome. Filming for Captain Marvel is supposed to wrap this week. I think I'm pretty sure it has like a month left or like three weeks left um, from what I heard, but maybe it, maybe it moved quicker. But last I heard, which was about a month ago, they had about two months left. What's the best comic strip in Boston, Cambridge? Well, see, I'm so I'm not down there. I was up in Chelmsford. I couldn't even tell you what the name. I ordered most of my stuff online, but there was one at the Pheasant Lane Mall that I would go to. But I ordered most of my stuff. Well, was it online? I got a lot of stuff. I was like very secretive comic book fan when I was younger. I got a lot of stuff from my dad. My dad would go buy me stuff. I would get stuff like at bookstores. Right? Like I go into the bookstore and buy a book and then buy a bunch of comic books or trade paperbacks and leave with them. 
Um, I can tell you in Sarasota, Florida, um, there is a place called the dark side, which is amazing. It's amazing. Oh, let's see. Yanks from Boston. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. The Yankees are the worst. I hate the Yankees. Tom Shady, whatever. See, hate us because you ain't us. You hate us because you ain't us. I'm Whatever. Peter's is still awesome. Also, I really do need to go. I've got like five more minutes before I have to leave because I have to go to the store before I pick up my kids today. Indeed, I will. Yes, check it out and we'll talk about it for real. Join me next week. Please, please, please don't forget. Like, put it on your calendar. No Marvel tattoos. Uh, a Guardians of the Galaxy sleeve. I'd consider that a Marvel tattoo. It's got Star Lord. It's got Rocket. It's got Baby Groot. It's got Gamora. It's got Yondu and Ego. It's got Nebula. It's got James Gunn's signature. It's got Drax. So yeah, it's a Marvel tattoo. Is that near Salem? No, uh, it's based. It's new. It's almost in New Hampshire. Um, Chelmsford, Lowell, is the town right next door. Westford. It's uh, right on the border. Right on the border, of Massachusetts and um, New Hampshire. Jeremy Renner was in my, my new bag of lays. He said nothing. You know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if that happened. He seems like that type of person. <laughs> uh, how many comic books do I have? I There's no way I could even guess. I couldn't even make a, a guess. My attic is full of comic book drawers and comic book boxes. It's in the tens of thousands. I'll tell you that. I, I There's no way I could guess. There was a time where I subscribed to like, I want to say it was like 62 titles was my, was my maximum a month. So I couldn't even tell you. Lowell is not a nice town. No, I was from Chelmsford. It was a not Lowell. I was just telling you Lowell's next door. It's right near Lowell. No Mantis. No, no Mantis. And when I met Palm, she was like, Oh, where's Mantis? And I was like, eh. it was Mantis or James Gunn's signature. And I went with James Gunn's signature. Sorry, Mantis. Maybe I'll add a tiny little Mantis somewhere. <laughs> tiny little one. Just her, her things somewhere. Antennas. That would be funny. Oh, this is Packers fans. He goes for both. Yeah, but he shouldn't change himself just because his family is Packers fan. <clears throat> he should stay. Stay true. Books are awesome. Hope they never die. I know. I love it. We have one, a local one that we go to. Where's Dusty? Did she leave? She might have. It's crazy. It's almost 2.30. I really need to go. But I just keep laughing to you guys. <clears throat> Hopes that wasn't a spoiler. Hopes what wasn't a spoiler? Did I say something? I don't know. If I said something that's a spoiler, I'm sorry. Love that Doctor Strange. Yeah, so I got it as a Valentine's Day gift from, from Marvel like two years ago. Um, he's a stand-up. Whenever, like, you know, he was coming out. After he came out, I got a box of chocolates and that from Marvel. It's fantastic. <clears throat> I'm here. Go away, Dusty says. That's funny. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm glad that you look past my flaw of being a Patriots fan and you still love me. Heavy duty smokes. I appreciate that. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Uh, what are your kids' favorite Marvel characters? Okay, um, real quick, I'm going to say that. And then I really am going to hang up. because Hang up. Look at me talking like I'm on the phone. Um Let's see. I think Ivy really, really like. Well, Lori loves Baby Groot. She's like obsessed with Baby Groot. Um, and just obsessed with him. Like she thinks she's going to marry him. When she met him at Disney World, she was like, I'm going to marry Baby Groot. He was flirting with me. Um, and my uh, oldest daughter, who is seven, Ivy, she really likes um, Iron Man, which is amazing. I'm like, yeah. Woohoo. Team Iron Man. Go, girl. Um, and I don't know. That's really about, uh, they like Gamora. They both like Gamora. Um, they're big into the Guardians, I think, kind of because of me. Because um, Guardians have always been my favorite. But um, I would say favorites would be Iron Man and Baby Groove. Would be my guess. I am getting a phone call, guys. Um, so I'm going to go. But um, thanks for joining me, guys. And um, I will just have to, <laughs> why is more? That's funny. But I do got to go because my phone is ringing. So I will talk to you guys uh, next week. And thanks for joining